My Lords, listening to the noble Lord, Lord Dodds, just then, uh, my mind drifted back a decade or so to a debate under the domed hemicycle in Strasbourg on this issue of state aid in a neighbouring jurisdiction, a neighbouring jurisdiction that was partially under single market regulation, namely Switzerland. And I remember one after another the MEPs from different groups getting up and fulminating against the unfair competition and the unfair subsidies that were being carried out in particular Swiss cantons. And it became clear as they spoke that what they, what they regarded as the unfair subsidies were lower taxes, uh, lower corporation taxes, lower business taxes, uh, lower VAT rate. And my point is that what we may regard as an objective measure is not necessarily the way it's going to be seen in Brussels when they have full control of these things. Uh, I didn't make the wise life choices that my noble friend Lord Lee of Hurley did, so I've no idea how efficacious these vehicles are, but surely that is an issue that ought to be determined through our own national democratic mechanisms and procedures rather than handed to us by people over whom we have no control. And it's, it's this point of, of trade-offs that I think is being missed. I mean, of course, we were, uh, how could one not have been persuaded by Lord Judge's customary wry, terse brilliance in the way he phrases the problem of executive overreach? I think all of us on all sides recognise the problem, but we're, we're dealing in a world of imperfections. And the alternative is an also unconstrained and to some degree arbitrary power where decisions are made, often by middle-ranking uh, European commissioners who are not accountable to anyone. Uh, inadequate as the statutory instrument is, there is some mechanism of control here. But as Lord Dodds just explained, we will have a situation where the state aid regime in Northern Ireland is being imposed by people who are completely outside the democratic process. Now, I, I very much hope that this bill goes through without these amendments. I'm a, I realise a very lonely supporter of it in these debates, but I hope that once it has gone through, Northern Ireland can become a bridge between the United Kingdom and uh, the European Union, that it can become a forum for cooperation. But that is only going to be possible if we live up not only to the Belfast Agreement, but to the wider principles on which it rests, above all, representative government and a proper link between taxation, representation and expenditure. Yeah. There has been much 